Hey everyone, it's David here with Surplus Fund. So I have on one of our t-shirts called Deal Closer because I want to talk to you today about closing deals and how to not only close a deal but maybe get more money than you anticipated and getting your clients more money than they anticipated. Is that possible? Watch this video and find out. Do me a favor though, before you watch this video, go and click subscribe if you haven't and click the notification link. A lot of times I do the, like these live webinars and I go over how to call people, how to talk to people. I would love for you to be one of my lucky winners if I do a drawing or something like that. In fact, I have a couple coming up in a couple weeks that I need to hand out because we're gonna be hitting the end of August and I do have some that I will be handing out. So you cannot make all this stuff up that is happening here. This week alone, I'm over 24 thousand in deals and in the last two weeks I have about 40,000 in deals now some of these I'm still getting contracts back so I can't say oh I've definitely gotten 40,000 but I have $40,000 worth of contracts out there right now which is which is pretty exciting but how can you get more for a deal than what you agreed upon here's a situation with the doctor and I, I've got I can't show you these um, I've just got some notes on the back of this but I can't show you all these I printed a couple of these up I, I just I, I can't show you the front side because I'd be giving out some people's personal information. But we're looking at this deal and it's an 82,000 and some change deal that belongs to a, a certain guy and we're, we're working on this deal. And I go through and I pull additional claims that they may have and then I'll call them back. I'll say, did you ever live in this city? Did you ever live in this address? Even if it's like a, a real small claim. In fact, and I mentioned this on one of my previous videos, I just did a deal for 18,000 and the guy had just a second claim. It's an error. He had a he had um, $30. He's like, oh, let's any more about that go dude we're already doing the paperwork and take your wife out to dinner or go go treat yourself somewhere he goes okay okay and people like it when you do that like hey i just swept and i just looked and verified that, that you have more claims because you have to be seen as an expert here and you have to let them know that they know what you're doing. In fact, in my next video, I'm gonna talk about getting contracts back a little bit and, and there's a lot of good information on that. But number one is you have to be an expert and you have to be seen as an expert. So when I looked at this deal for over 82,000 and different states pay different amounts or allow you to collect, I think Oregon, which I wouldn't wanna work, does like 5% and some states allow 30%. I forget which ones there are. There might be one or two states that don't have a cap. I'm not sure. We have people work Alaska. We have people work Texas. We, we have all over the place. Um, California. Um, I do believe I have a few working in Arizona and it's good. And we also have people working mortgage and tax overages as well and, and everything in between. So I have this deal for 82,000. And as I'm looking at this deal and I go back and I research it, I notice that there's an additional fund in there from another company for 20 something thousand. That put this deal at just over hundred grand. We're now in the process of contacting the guy and saying, hey, you have some additional funds we'd like to put down here for you and hope to get you paid on. We're gonna turn in the paperwork. And they love that. So an $8,000 deal has now become over a $10,000 deal. This, I could not make up if I wanted to. One of our phone calls this week, we called the guy and he's like, I just signed with somebody else. And we go, how long ago? He goes, oh, about a week and a half ago. He goes, it's this deal you're calling me about. It's a $40,000 deal. I just signed with somebody else. So we look at this and we call him back and we say, hey, we know that you signed for somebody else. How many deals did you sign for? And he goes, just one. And it was a US bank account. It was somewhere north of 40,000, $4,000 payout. We said, do you know that you have more big accounts on here? He goes, no. And, and I always respect, I have some people that call and they, they try to get people knocked off. If someone has a deal before me, I, I've been knocked off before and it sucks. You know, I've had people do things and it just, it absolutely sucks or come in lower or what have you. So I just, I like to go ahead and um, I, I try to be the first one to make contact on no bridge. And I try to respect the fact that they've already been contacted and they said, what can you offer me? I'll, I'll just say, you know what? What I can offer you is a call back in about four to six weeks. And if this person isn't representing you the way that you would like, then let's go ahead and let's let's talk about maybe doing a deal. And, and that, that usually works out really good with people. So we called this guy back and we said, you only did one deal. And he's, do you know that you have several more, more state funds? And the guy goes, no, I didn't know that. Three more bank accounts north of, well, one was north of 20,000. The other two were north of 30,000. The guy goes, I did not know that. We're now in the process of getting these contracts out to him. So it's roughly gonna be somewhere between 80 to 90,000. So we called him about a th three to $4,000 payout. He's, get, he's collecting on that, that's all good. Now we're calling him back because he's got um, additional funds that he never knew about. 
So he's agreed to go under contract with us on those additional funds and you cannot make that stuff up. And then I got some other contracts this week. I got, so I got the 10,000, that was the biggest. I have um, that one that I just mentioned, that was from the week before this week. And then I have I have a couple um, contracts out there that are like in the $40,000 range. It's, it's been a nice week of deals for me. Now, okay, so let's talk about getting more money than what you anticipated and, and the way to go about that. So you're working state funds and you're working on collecting. What you should always do is whenever I talk to people, I come off extremely professional. I stick with data and I, I stick with data all the way through because unfortunately there are so many people out there that are trying to get people, get them to pay this, get their social security card, telling them something. And I, I don't understand those people. And I, when I say that, I mean like, I don't understand why those people call so many people and say, I don't know anyone who's ever given their social security card out over the phone or anything like that. Um, but people get calls like that all the time. And we're calling and saying, hey, you lived at 123 Main Street. You know that you have funds from this property and it was it was this account and it, it kind of yeah I remember living at that property with that account I remember that and and then you're you're yeah this is gone dormant or your your mom or dad had this account and, and, and you're really trying to win people over so that's the first thing that you're trying to do now you go back and you comb the list of leads that you have and you look at each and every single one of the leads and do they have additional funds if they have three cents claim it just show them hey you know what I'm gonna clean up the 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 Files here, I'm gonna clean this up. You've got three cents, you've got five cents. Now, some people have had over 200 leads and I'm not kidding, like one, one of the warriors called me one time, hey, David, I've got over 200 leads in here. What do I do? Well, do all 200. Yeah, you're gonna be processing. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of work, but go ahead and, and, and work on claiming each every single one. Your people are gonna see you as an expert. They're gonna see you knowing that you know what you're doing. So you talk to them. Now, I'm gonna do my next video on actually getting contracts back and so many different people have different ways of getting contracts back, but I will say this, and this is kind of cheating into my next video, is I ask them when is the best time to call them back when I'm getting them contracts, or I'm getting them information, or if my notary's going out there, which I do arrange sometimes, when is the best time for my notary to go ahead and call them back? So, all right, this is great. We're gonna give you a call back. By the way, my notary's gonna call you. When is the best time for them to call you? Is what's is this the best number for them to call you back at? And just to follow up, and just, just check them and come through. Ask them if they lived in another state. Ask them if they have any, any relatives or something. Sometimes when I get a hold of relatives, I've actually done, I've actually looked and, and have had relatives say, hey, by the way, do I have any unclaimed funds? Well, let me check. What, um, let, me, let me check. So you live in this city. And, and with our, um, our research and our, our, our data, a lot of times we can pull up their phone number and see what city they live in and say, I have you down living in this town and this city and people are like, yeah, well, um, you have a couple of small accounts. I'd love to help you assist to get you those. Um, you know, and here, here's how you do it. And just walk them through the process and people like that. I mean, I don't get all the contracts and stuff, but just jump on or file or, or maybe send them the contracts with the zero commission, whatever, whatever you want to do, but people need to see you as a helping agent. So I hope that helps. And then the biggest thing you can do with any of your leads is you have to take control and follow up. How many of you know if you have state funds or not? Probably all of you watching this video know that you either have funds or they're access to you. What about someone who doesn't know they have funds? Why don't they know? Are they a lazy person? And, and I'm not saying just because they have funds are lazy. Are they not? Do they not care? Do they, do they want someone else to handle it? A lot of times people need to be held by the hand and have someone else handle something for them. And that's where you come in, you're handling it for them, but you've got to take charge. You've got to take the lead. I'm going to get you the agreements. I'm going to go ahead and email you and I'm going to go ahead and follow up. Like you have to have a plan of action. You have to see that plan of action and you have to communicate that plan of action to them. That's going to be their liking. Um, I will need these back. I'm gonna go and get these to you. What is the best way to get these back? How about if I do a self-addressed stamped envelope and fill them out? And if they seem like they're totally lazy and I'm getting off on a tangent here, if I think they're totally lazy, hey, how about if I if I have a, um, my notary will swing by, have a sign, um, have these signed tonight. Can I have them call you directly and, and, and really be a little pushy there? So just a way to make more money than what you thought. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped. A couple big things. Check for more leads out there. Have a system and have a follow-up. I think those are the three key features you, you had in this video. I hope there was more. Comment, tell me what was helpful. And some of you have been saying, hey David, can you talk about this or can you talk about that? Absolutely. Put it in the comment section below. I do read my comments. I do a lot of them on live video more than I do typing, but I do look at my comments and I appreciate you watching. Thanks. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. Click the subscribe, click the notification link, and I will see you on the next video. And do me a favor, one more thing. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you for watching.